Now, hi, this is a follow-up video to my um, Ask Me Anything video. Um, the first question isn't really a question, but I'll go ahead and read it anyway. Um, I'm 50 and think you're great. You are beautiful, thoughtful, keep the videos coming. More nude videos to love the bikini video, hot stuff. Okay, um, yeah, just donate, donate 20 bucks to my channel and I'll be happy to do some of those bikini <laughs> videos or whatever you want. Um, okay, next question. Have you ever been to Longevities in New York? Yeah, I have. They're closed now. Um, do you know about live food? Yes, of course, isn't everybody know about live food? Um, have you ever considered going uh, raw? I think about it, but there's a lot of things that I like to eat that you have to cook. So, and um, do you like raw chocolate? Yeah, I do. Next question. Um, how do you get uh, Paul's enough to record videos uh, when you're naked? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, next question. Do you ever get recognized from your YouTube videos when you're out and about? No, but I'm kind of a hermit. I kind of stay in a lot. Um, not that I know of. Nobody has said anything to me. Um, next question. Why won't you add me as your friend? Well, I mo mostly just add people myself. I don't really add people who ask me. I usually, when I see someone's video, maybe I have something in common with them, or, you know, they're vegan, or there's just something about the person that I like. Otherwise, if I just add every single person, then I'm just adding people, and it doesn't mean anything. So, sorry. Um... Uh, next one is just says I'm vegan too. Well, I think that's really great. I wish more people were vegan because as it is right now, there are just so many cows on this planet. That if you think about it, there's actually more cows on this planet than there are people, which is absolutely insane. It's just totally out of balance. I mean, the earth has to have some balance, you know, in nature, everything's balanced out. So I think it's just crazy to have so many cows. Uh, people weren't meant to eat so much meat in their diet. It's just insane. Um, you know, they talk about global warming. I don't really buy into that propaganda, but, you know, having so many cows, more than people, it's just crazy. Um, next question. Um, do you like living in the U.S.? I guess. I've never really lived anywhere else. I mean, I've traveled to Europe. You know, there's good things and bad things about everywhere you go. Um, it says, and do you think that you are uh, really free? When you really think about it, I don't think we're really, really free. You know, um, we need um, probably need libertarians, um, you know, in office, and then maybe we could be really, really free. I think, wouldn't we? We have to be a little bit more free. I mean, it's free a lot of people, a lot of innocent people, that's for sure. Um, next question. Uh, isn't being naked great? What got you into it? Well, nothing really got me into it per se. I mean, I've just always been my own person. And even when I was really young, I would run around the house with very little on, maybe just a t-shirt, and I'd get yelled at and put some clothes on, you know, and I wouldn't want to because it just felt, you know, it was hot out and I wanted, I didn't want to wear many clothes. Maybe it just, you know, felt better to not have some new clothes on. So it's just me, I guess. Yeah. Um, next question. How do you pay your bills? Well, I have renters that pay my bills, basically. Um, plus, I do modeling. So, I mean, no one's ever given me anything. I've, I've always worked for everything I've ever got. And I've actually disinherited by a, a lot of property. And But that's another story. Anyway, next question. Uh, why is it illegal to walk down the street nude? You know, that's really funny that you say that because when I used to live in San Francisco, in the um, Tenderloin, people were actually walking down the street nude, believe it or not. I actually saw a guy walking down, you know, the street in ten the Tenderloin nude. And I think there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to, then why not? It's You're not hurting anyone. You're just minding your own business. So, yeah, it should be legal. Uh, and if we had libertarians, believe me, um, you wouldn't get in trouble for something that is, you know, minor as that, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, what else? Have you f uh, found organic food that will sustain your, uh, or sustain he heavy physical activity? That's a really funny question. Um, 
you know, I'm not an athlete, but I have spoken with people who were athletes and are athletes, and there they have been some that were vegan, so I don't see why not. Uh, next question: Did you once ever in your life ever have any pets, or would you want um, one if you don't already? Yeah, I've had lots of pets in my life. Um, I lived on um, like a farm and had goats and chickens and pigs and horses and dogs, cats, I mean everything. I, I was actually, you know, one of the, per the I was like the, the person on the block when I was growing up as a child. Would, I was the one who took in all the strays, so that's me. Um, do I want any now? No, I, I want to do some traveling. I don't want responsibility of pets. Okay, um, next question. It says, okay, I got two questions. Are you a model? Yeah, I am. Do you still model? Yeah, I do. And how old are you? I'm old. Okay. <laughs> um, next question. Why do your why do your corners of your mouth point downward? Uh, why is there a heaviness in your voice and body language? Is it because you experienced a major life disappointment that has led you to feel a sense of hopelessness? No, uh, I don't feel hopeless uh, at all. And <laughs> Lots. Of, there's. I'm sure there's people. Lots of people in this world that have have had horrible, horrible things happen to them. And uh, I don't think anything really that horrible has ever happened to me in my life. Um, and no, I don't think the corners of my mouth point down. Um, not that I am aware of. I mean, I, I you will want to look at a dolphin and, and look at their mouth because the corners of a dolphin's mouth actually do point down. And lots of horrible things happen to dolphins, but nothing like that's ever happened to me. And <laughs> no, sorry, I, th I think you're crazy. Okay, whatever. Um, next question: You've made clear in your uh, to your of your disgust of the age of consent law, but is there any age uh, you think is too young? For example, if it's well, of course, um, you know, children and infants don't have a voice. They can't say to you you know, don't do that, or leave me alone, or get your dirty hands off me, or something like that, you know. Um, I think it's awful how people, you know, most people, I mean, a lot of people take advantage, you know, it's, it's in the cult, in the culture, you know, um, this, even the U.S. culture, to take advantage of, of infants, um, you know, in, uh, in the medical fields especially, and I think it's wrong. Um, I believe in human rights, okay, and, and it's just as bad when you, um, you know, you, you tell a child that has that starts to develop feelings that you can't you know you don't have a right to feel that way for that other person I think you know it's awful it's just all about you know human rights so um, yeah um, infants should be left alone and children and you know listen to them and don't take advantage of them and um, yeah okay next question uh, you spoken somewhat about Disorders of uh, development, sex, intersexuality, uh, intersex, and made a couple of videos suggesting that you were intersex yourself. In what way are you intersex? Okay, well, there's a lot of um, there's some medical texts that say that um, like if a baby is born and they consider the the penis to be way too small, or they consider the clit to be way too big, that you know that that's intersex. Well, I guess I fall into one of those categories. <laughs> Take care.